not, I'm making sushi. So I've seen a couple of cucumbers that should be pretty good to go. There we got one in. That looks lovely. Show him that. Should do the trick. Uh, I got salmon and uh, crayfish, cooked crayfish. I'm not going to do raw crayfish sushi. I've seen a couple of people that have tried, and yeah, some things are definitely meant to be cooked, and that one thing is definitely crayfish. So, yeah, I'm just going to do some salmon and maybe avocado and crayfish and cucumber boom so we have some um, uh, skinless salmon portions uh, we'll start with one I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces um, so the salmon you're yeah, just going to cut up in little squares like that Kelly has pre-cooked the uh, rice and you use a bit of um, sushi seasoning the old yake nore. <laughs> this stuff is actually just good to eat on its own, I reckon. Mm. Nothing like a bit of seaweed. Mm. I'm definitely not the master in sushi making, <laughs> uh, but I've done a little bit of it. So you've got a shiny side and a non-shiny side, like smooth, rough and then you've got lines that are perforated in it as well i'm not too sure if that really matters that much unless you want to tear it into smaller pieces uh, but i just go it's always shiny side down and then spread some fucking rice on it this is the shitty part but it is a part that i've rushed before and you fuck it up pretty easy. So, and don't put it on way too thick, otherwise you're just eating a big ball of rice. Mm, kind of a bit too much. <laughs> Man, this shit is sticky. Here. <laughs> it's probably a little bit on the heavy side. Very nice. Uh, trim a little bit of that, and this is almost perfectly sized. You want sushi in this? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like some kewpie, yeah. Okay. Boom. Uh, now we roll. Uh, you ha I have some water, and because right at the end, you wet your fingers, wet the sheet of uh, nori paper, and it all sticks together. Um, we'll see how this one goes anyway. The first bit's the hardest bit. Well, I reckon anyway. Probably to a sushi master, it's not really. Hmm. As well on the thick side, eh? A little bit.
all I can remember is to say good morning. So, hi, good morning, Mars. Good morning. What? Here's your fucking sushi. It's tonight, you <laughs> uh, Well, today, uh, back in the van, not living in it, um, working on it because I've finally got the um, DC DC charger which I've left inside but um yeah we are changing out the um, C-Tech one here and I'm possibly gonna pull out the Milwaukee battery charger and I'm gonna put that in the D-Max um, just because we we do charge the batteries and I use it for my little mobile battery pack for the shower and stuff uh, also to power anything in the boat when we're in the boat and the seat and everything it's pretty a bit of a shit show to access this part so I'm going to take that out give me a bit more space and do that while I can turn the power off so if I have any dramas for the next today or tomorrow I can't can't fit it or have to change a fair bit of stuff it doesn't matter because um doesn't matter if there's nothing in the fridge or anything like that so this is the itec world uh dc dc it's the 20 amp um i'm pretty sure they've got a 40 but um for what i've got uh here with the solar and that i run i don't need any more than 20 so uh yeah it's pretty Pretty good kit. Um, it's pretty basic. You've got a your solar input, uh, your like car input, and your output, and they're all color coded connections. And I forget what that is, but yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty good. And you can got a mode. It's pretty. It's pretty heavy. Uh, and then you've got your Select your battery types. Um, some people don't really like some iTech World stuff, but I've never had a problem with it, and they've always been good customer service. And yeah, well, I've had this lithium in here while I was rebuilding the caravan for this is nearly two years old, and it's run the fridge and everything and powered up from the, as soon as I started wiring shit up. So I've um, never had a trouble with it. And I've got the newer 120 amp power in the D-Max. So far, so good. So, yeah, I'm going to take that out. Take this out. Move that. DC, DC will hopefully go there. We'll see how we go. Start ripping shit apart. So I've got pretty much all the stuff out. Uh, taken out the Milwaukee charger the battery charger and the DC DC thinking uh, sort of just mounting it in the middle there um, and then putting the battery charger down there or I might even put the battery charger along there because I've almost got enough room for another lithium right there if I need it so I want to try and keep that area free if I can this is pretty slim line, but a little bit bigger than the old one. So I might just yeah, mount that up and then have to solder in and work out all these connections here. You don't get instructions in the box, but you do get a, a QR code. You scan, scan with phone for instructions. So yeah. If you don't have a phone or internet access when you're trying to install this and you're not too sure, you're kind of fucked. But it is pretty straightforward, so it's no biggie. Well, I've almost um, completed the DC-DC install. I'm about to hook up the cables to the battery. Got the battery all back in there. Everything's good. Uh, just double checking everything over um, on the in instructions. Alright, see if I don't blow this fucking thing up. Uh, first, I will turn on the solar.
Alright. Cool. This one here is the inverter. Put on there is everything else. Fridge is on. Well, so far, so good. dive with uh, Wooly. Just packed up all the uh, gear, chucked that in and it is actually raining very lightly. Hmm, we'll see. Bummery's that way and where we're going is down there. It's a reef they call Bovards. I've had a dive right on the edge of it before but not in the shallow stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's a good probably hour and a half, possibly maybe even two hours by boat, um, all the way up the coast. That'll be today's mission. Uh, it'll probably be my last crayfish dive for this season. Um, don't think I'll get another one in after this one. So this will be it. Uh, we'll hopefully finish it off with a bang.
Thank you, Dewey.